Hey everyone, Gnudas here. Today I would like to bring you up to speed with the latest updates from Surfshark. In the last three months, we have redesigned our macOS app and browser extension, created a research project on user data surveillance, and much more. So let's deep dive and see what's new. By the way, these updates will be happening monthly here on our YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with what's happening at Surfshark. Let's kick off this monthly update by talking about our browser extension 3.0 update. For a long time, our browser extension was quite outdated and really needed both visual and technical overhaul. After a lot of hard work, designing and testing, we are proud to finally release a new Surfshark browser extension for Chrome, Firefox, and Edge browsers. You will find that the extension now has a new look and a lot of the features that you could previously only find on our desktop and mobile apps. This includes static IP and multi-hop server connection options, the ability to favorite your most used locations. Also, now you will have the ability to automatically connect to the VPN on browser launch. All you night owls out there will appreciate the new dark mode available in the settings menu and making its debut is a whole new setting for preventing WebRTC leaks. So definitely make sure to check this update out. And if your extension is still on an older version, try reinstalling it. All Android and iOS users will now notice that a small bell icon will appear on the app's main screen. This bell will take you to our brand new notification center. Here, you will be able to find any important messages such as updates on VPN availability, security tips, and perhaps even special deals. So keep your eyes open for that bell. Our Surfshark VPN macOS app also received a massive makeover back in March. This update was quite a while ago, but it was such a big overhaul for us that we just had to share with all of you. In addition to the new look, this update featured new animations, new settings menu, including new protocol change menu, and an absolute ton of behind the scenes changes. Also, back in April, we released a version 3.4 update, which added support for the Apple M1 chip. We are proud to be one of the first VPNs to do this. This will make your connections even smoother for Surfshark VPN on the new Apple Silicon processors. Similar story continues with our Surfshark iOS app with the release of the version 2.18 update. With this release, we fixed a lot of bugs and upgraded the WireGuard protocol version. So now this protocol is even more stable and secure. Furthermore, we added a new diagnostics flow. This means that any diagnostics that you submit will be sent to our developers faster than before, meaning that potential bugs and improvements can be made sooner. In June, we launched a data surveillance report for 2021. The study looks at the number of requests for user data made by governmental authorities such as police. What we found was quite alarming. Data surveillance is on the rise. This means that your government wants to know more and more about you. By law, the big tech giants like Google, Microsoft, Apple, or Facebook are obliged to provide any information they may have about you. I highly recommend checking the full report, which you can find via the link in the description below. Security is our number one priority. And that's why in April, we started to require our users to create stronger passwords that meet a set of requirements. A strong password includes at least eight characters, upper and lowercase letters, a number, and a special character. An important detail we also added was a breached password scanner. So when you set up your password, it will let you know if it has ever been part of a breached database. With all these requirements in place, you can be sure that the password you created is as strong as it can ever be. Finally, we got some amazing news for all Surfshark users. Starting in June, we have launched our very own Surfshark Discord server. Now you can connect with like-minded people and join our fast-growing Discord community. Here, you will be able to discuss certain topics, ask any technical questions you may have, and more. At the moment, to access our Discord server, you need to be a Surfshark subscriber and wait for an invitation via email. We will see you there. And that's it. If you enjoyed this update recap, make sure to hit the like button and make sure to stay tuned for future monthly update videos. We have also released tons of new videos. Here are a few for you to check out.